You came back. Go. <laughs> You'll come back next time. Discord, the awesome chat app beloved by gamers everywhere and lots of other people too. You don't own it, James. Other people can like it. Is reportedly in acquisition talks with several potential buyers, and the word is that Microsoft is one of them. Sources within Discord apparently told VentureBeat that Microsoft may complete the purchase for $10 billion or more, although Bloomberg sources add that while Discord actually reached out to Microsoft first, it's more likely to go public than sell itself, which I'm sure most of us would actually prefer. Wait. No, I want them to get rid of Teams. <laughs> They'll just switch it out. Gamers will start using Teams and then now the last big chat app Microsoft bought was Skype back in 2011, and now Skype sucks. Uh, I can almost see Phil Spencer standing on an E3 stage talking about how awesome it is that all of Discord's cool features are now available right from the Windows 10 Xbox app. So convenient. That's not awesome, Phil. Also E3? Come on, what is this? 2019? A time when we could go to things? Who we were calling friends? It's all about LTX now, wait. The global chip shortage is getting worse, not better. So much so that some analysts are calling the situation a straight up crisis, in part because raw material suppliers slowed down production last year in preparation for COVID, not anticipating that demand would actually skyrocket. People like staying inside and playing games? What? The situation has been made worse by a fire at a Japanese chip manufacturing facility owned by Renaissance. <laughs> is that a pun on Renaissance? Anyways, they're one of the car industry's biggest chip suppliers. As you no doubt know, street prices of PC components like GPUs have skyrocketed, a trend that is set to only get worse as companies like MSI announce price hikes as a result of low supply. Meanwhile, leakers claim Nvidia is planning to release a high-end Ampere-powered crypto mining card that can hit 210 mega hashes per second, double the performance of the RTX 3090. This is not looking good, guys, Nvidia. Your mining card didn't work. Put that GPU in a gaming card. You know what? Give that to me, give it. Give it. Riley, <laughs> your pills. <laughs> and Apple has kind of failed to read the room by blocking updates for the Proton VPN app. In an email, Apple told Proton that their app's description breaks App Store guidelines about bypassing geo restrictions. Here's the offending portion. Whether it is challenging governments, educating the public, or training journalists, we have a long history of helping to bring online freedom to more people around the world. Seems accurate, given that the UN has recommended Proton's apps as a way for the citizens of Myanmar to get around the severe internet restrictions placed by the military after they staged a coup. Apple hates that. <laughs> oh, that's not, mmm, you're breaking the law. It's extra weird because Proton says the offending excerpt has been in its app description for months before Apple started blocking Proton VPN's updates. You know what this means, Apple? You gotta let Fortnite back on iPhones. Hey, I. I don't make the rules, okay? This is what, that's the law. One for one. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Manscaped and their Lawnmower 3.0. Yeah. It's, wow, manly. It's waterproof, cordless, and features a ceramic blade with skin safe technology. It's won the MVP trophy for ball trimmers every year since that's been a thing, which I think it is. Did they invent it? <laughs> the trophy. <laughs> Oh, thank you. And now they've got Crop Mop Wet Wipes, which keep your undercarriage clean and refreshed. Ooh. Now with Manscaped, you can take care of yourself and others because all purchases made at manscaped.com during the month of March contribute to the Testicular Cancer Society for the We Save Balls initiative. Get 20% off with free international shipping at manscaped.com slash tech and make a donation to the Testicular Cancer Society to help save a life. Quick bits, pour them in a bowl and just add water. If ingested, call the police. Hey, Pepto Bismol. <laughs> Intel's doubling down on manufacturing their own chips. In a live stream yesterday, the company's new engineer CEO, Pat Gelsinger, said they're putting $20 billion towards a new foundry facility in Arizona. Intel's so confident they're gonna turn things around, they're even bringing back the TikTok manufacturing model. I hope they don't confuse it with the other TikTok, although Pat does look like he's hiding some sick dance moves under that suit. It looks like he could get down. Show me your moves! OnePlus has announced the OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro with Hasselblad branded cameras and hefty price tags, only slightly cheaper than Samsung's Galaxy S21. You either die the flagship killer or live long enough to see yourself become the flagship. But wait, there's a OnePlus 9R without the Hasselbladness and more reasonable features and price. 
But it's only available in India. That doesn't help me. Ah, I hate you again. Huh? Blood nabbit. <laughs> The so-called Nintendo Switch Pro has been rumored for ages now, with most leaks claiming that the device would feature an OLED display and 4K output while docked. We've heard it all before, I'm bored. But fresh leaks support those claims and add that the new Switch may be powered by a chip built on Nvidia's upcoming Lovelace architecture. Lovely. Mm -hmm. With that 4K support enabled by DLSS upscaling technologies. Apple makes a Switch, Apple could make a Switch, but you know, they're not making a Switch, you know who is? Qualcomm! Maybe Qualcomm will beat Nintendo to the punch with their rumored Android-powered Switch knockoff device complete with detachable Joy-Con controllers. If this is real, I'll actually be quite excited because when we installed Android on the company Switch, I loved it. And you can't do that with newer Switches because they don't have the special d vulnerability you can take advantage of. So this will be really cool, James, wouldn't you say? Snap. Oh! And Xbox Live is no more, sort of. Xbox, Xbox dead! <laughs> I didn't want to make the joke, that's morbid. Xbox Live Gold paid memberships are still a thing and are required to play most online games, but the base level Xbox Live Network is now just being called Xbox Network, which sounds super lame. But hey, at least you won't need an Xbox Live Gold membership to play free to play titles like Fortnite and Apex Legends because Microsoft is rolling that out after promising it a few months ago. So get your friends and hop on Xbox Network and share files. Start an FTP link. What dumb. Super long episodes are also dumb, so come back on Friday for more tech news, or you will make me cry. I'm a human. And when Riley cries, he stays sad. <laughs>